What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling, bringing you a video that the majority of you probably have known is coming for a long time. Um, and that is me essentially saying that the JTW Live and JTW Redemption Pick Fed is cancelled for the foreseeable future. I don't get the time anymore. Um, realistically, that's all it is. Like, don't get me wrong, I love making pick feds. Um, although it does, you know, your back hurts. It takes a very, very long time. Well, there's multiple reasons as to why it's cancelled. Um, one of them, the main ones is payoff. Now, you can come to me all you like and say you have to make, you know, good content. If you make good content, people will watch. I am telling you for a fact that is not true. Uh, YouTube's algorithm does not work like that anymore. Just because someone can make, someone with 100 subscribers can make amazing videos, amazing videos for a few years and not get any payoff for it whatsoever. But some YouTubers can literally be making the worst videos in the world and be getting paid for it and get millions of views. Uh, so YouTube is broken and that's not how it works anymore. So the pick fed, I can make, for example, my Cain Velasquez Smackdown reaction video has got 5,000 views. Do you know how long that video took me to record and edit all together? Less than an hour, 5,000 views. My pick fed will take me over half an hour to set up, over half an hour to take down, over an hour and a half to two hours to edit, and over at least nine hours to shoot. For what? 200 views, if that? It's not worth it, it's not worth it. All in all, some of the, my WrestleMania pick fed took me over 20 hours and it got oh, like just around 200 views. And for that payoff, I can't be doing it. I can't be putting all my eggs into that basket, hoping that something good's gonna come of it when it's not. There is much more talented fedders in the community and I would much rather stick to the stuff I'm good at. Reaction videos, news, um, trampoline backyard wrestling, talking about belts, you know, whatever I do, predictions, 2K, that's what I'm good at. Don't get me wrong, I myself believe I'm good at pick fedding, but there is many people better out there. Just because I have a ring that's personalized, a cool stage, um, and everything like that, doesn't mean that the views come in. You know, I'm getting as many views as someone could literally just stick a toy ring on the floor and take some pictures. Just because I've got the right setup doesn't mean I'll get the right views. Um, and just because of that as well, I think what gave a sour taste to me is how stop motion YouTubers and stop motion creators view pick feathers. Um, guys like EWW, who is a big YouTuber, who um, doesn't make much content himself, let's just say that. Um, he normally <laughs> steals other people's content, but... Um, other than that, hit people like him to post on Instagram. What do you guys prefer in a poll? Stop motion or lazy pick fedding? Now I'll be damned if anyone can call pick fedding lazy. 20 hours of my life does not make me lazy. Having to buy the figures, having to set it all up, having to take the right pictures over and over again to make sure you get a decent shot is not lazy. Just because most stop motioners because they're that damn good, have made it their job, doesn't mean us pick feathers don't have other commitments. Now, don't get me wrong, yeah, you could have started stop motion when you're in school, but the big YouTubers and stuff that are cool, the pick fed people lazy, are guys like EWW, who have enough subscribers and enough views to have YouTube as a full-time job to mean they don't do anything else in their spare time. Me, for example, I have college. I have a job. I can't sit down anymore for 20 hours and make a pick fed for it to not have a payoff. If it was going to have a payoff, sure, but it's not, so I won't. Pick feders aren't lazy. You know, the, the good thing, the advantage about pick fed is we can do things that in stop motion you may not otherwise be able to do. In stop motion, by the time you've thrown a punch, I've already done a big spot. So it's, although it's slower, and although I love watching stop motion because it looks incredible, they have no right to call pick fedding lazy. Yes, they can say they're above it because realistically they are, 
but they should view it as something else, an alternative, like WWE and AEW. They shouldn't view one above the other. Just because stop motion is more realistic and more, fl like, have better flow, you know, it doesn't mean it's better. With PickFed, you can make detailed storylines. Look at My Damn Toys' PickFed. It's fantastic. Detailed storylines. It's just like watching an episode of Raw, if not much better. So PickFed's left a sour taste in my mouth for the time being. Will I come back to it in the future? I don't know. As I continue to grow, I don't know. If I've hit like, you know, 10,000 subscribers and people are commenting, oh, Joe, we want your PickFed back, then 100% I'll bring it back. But for now, it is cancelled. I hope you respect my opinion and any negative comments, you know. Just don't even bother leaving them because I'll delete them. See you later, everyone.